Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a slightly different video. Um, so this video is on the Jameson family. So the Jameson family disappeared on the 8th of October 2009. The family consisted of three members. Um, the dad, who was called Bobby, who was 44. Mum, Sherilyn, aged 40. And they also had a daughter called Madison, who was aged 6. So they lived in Eufla in Oklahoma in a lakefront home and had lived there for a few years but wanted to move out and move into the wilderness. So they were looking at a 40 acre privately owned plot of land which was in Red Oak, Oklahoma. This plot of land that they were looking at was roughly 30 miles away from where they currently lived. So on the 8th of October they packed up their truck and took their daughter Madison and her dog Macy to go look at this plot of land that they were planning on buying. On the way they got lost in a dirt road and had to stop and ask for directions. Um, after this they decided to go back home and rearrange the viewing for the next day. And this was the last time they were heard of and they never made it to see the plot of land the next day. On the 16th of October their truck was found um, but none of the bodies were inside, only the dog Macy. By this point their dog was near death as she'd been trapped in this car, locked car for eight days um, with no food or water and it was extremely hot outside. But luckily after this um, she was fine and she's now living with Bobby's mum. So the person who did find the truck called the county sheriff straight away. Um, they came down to obviously look at the truck. They had to smash a window to enter and inside the truck um, was the family's coats, phones, GPS, wallets and also $30,000 cash under the front seat of the car. So when the police arrived they thought that the family might have gone on a hike in the forest surrounding where the car was parked. So about five deputies entered the forest, um, did a little search, was calling their names and there was no sign of them. So the next day on the 17th the police decided to use the family's GPS and try and track their last movements. So the GPS tracked them to a nearby hill which they must have walked to from their car. Um, it showed that they stayed there about 15 minutes before heading back to the car. Before heading back, there was a photo that was taken of their daughter Madison on this hill. This photo of Madison um, looks very odd. She's posing quite forcefully and she does look very distressed. So whether she was forced into taking this photo. So as I said, after they had taken the photo, they headed back to the truck and this was the last movements that they were tracked to. After this, there was a massive search put out for them. Hundreds and hundreds of people joined in on the search, but nothing was found. Search dogs did alert to this big water tank, um, which the police did drain, but unfortunately nothing was found inside. On the 15th of November 2013, the bodies were found. The skeleton remains were found by a local hunter, and the bodies were found led side by side, face down with some of the bones missing. It wasn't until 2014 that the skeleton remains were to be confirmed as the remains of the Jameson family. So because there was no flesh, it was near enough impossible for the police to do an autopsy report and therefore there was no cause of death. There was also a large unexplained hole in the back of Bobby's head, which some people do think it was a bullet hole but it couldn't be confirmed as there were many holes all over the bones of the bodies. So now I'm going to talk about a few theories. So the first theory is a 35 degree line of latitude or the line of tragedy. On the 35 degree latitude line, many brutal deaths took place. The first one was Andrea Kennedy who suffered from postpartum depression and did in fact murder her five children on this line. The next was Pastor Carol Daniels who was in fact murdered in her church on this line also. Also Timothy McVeigh 
bombed a federal building, killing 168 people and injuring 700. Another weird one was Tommy Raymond Estep. He disappeared in a similar way to the Jameson family and in a similar area. His truck was found, but no body was. So the second theory is to do with the Mexican Mafia. Bobby and his dad, called Bob, did sort of have a feud going on. They were in business together, they owned a gas station, and when they decided to sell, they were supposed to get half the money each. But Bob, Bobby's dad, did refuse. And Bobby never got his half. Bobby sued his dad and obviously his dad wasn't happy about this and did start threatening Bobby's mum and the Jameson family. Bobby's mum got security cameras installed at the Jameson family home and they did also have a protective order against him. It's also said that Bobby's dad Bob did have ties with the Mexican Mafia which is where they do come into this but Bobby's dad did have an alibi. He was actually in hospital really sick at the time um, and did die two months after the Jameson family disappeared but nothing says that he couldn't get someone to do this for him. The next theory is to do with witchcraft, cults and evil spirits. So the Jameson's pastor Gary Brandon did tell the police that the Jameson family did believe that their house was haunted by a group of evil spirits or an evil family and apparently um, the Jameson family's daughter Madison was caught speaking to these spirits at one point and found out that one of the spirits was called Michael and another called Emily. These spirits were apparently giving the family trouble and Bobby did mention that he was reading a satanic bible in order to perform an exorcism on their house to sort of remove all the spirits. Bobby did also ask his pastor if there was any sort of special bullets that you could use to kill the evil spirits. Sherilyn and her friend Nikki both claimed that they were witches and were both really interested in witchcraft. Sherilyn's mum did believe that their murder was to do with a religious cult as Oklahoma was a holding place for cults. And the fourth and final theory I will be talking about is that the Jameson family, well, Sherilyn and Bobby, were both on crystal meth. So this theory came about due to the security cameras at the Jameson family's home. The footage from the day they disappeared, when the two were packing up the car, they looked as if they were in a sort of trans-like state. They also made an excessive amount of trips back and forth from the house to the truck. Apparently, psychologists also took a look at this footage and said it could be due to drug use. And in Oklahoma, there was a sort of meth problem at the time, so the police did say if they were on drugs, it was to be crystal meth. They also said that this could explain the $30,000 cash they found in the Jameson's car um, and that it could have been a drug deal gone wrong. But to some extent this doesn't make sense as the drug dealers obviously would have taken the money. But on the other hand the money could have been for the plot of land that they were going to look at as it was privately owned so the owner probably would have taken cash. Also it doesn't make sense if it was a drug deal you wouldn't take your daughter and your dog along with you. And when the police did look Drugs were never found in the car or in the home of the Jameson family. So that is it for the theories. I'm not sure what I think happened. Um, the most realistic sort of one for me would probably be cults and things as it was an area for cults. So yeah, if you have any sort of theories, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, I might do some more of these. So subscribe if you do want to see more and I will see you in the next one.